Ich lohne mich an meine Startup so zu geben, nur preis die Hau, Bashem, Mel, Shah, Bashem, Kakodash, der Belohnung ist die Apostles of GMS and Honesty Brothers that work the most on truth and sincerity. This one's inspired from, you know, just watching a, um, what you got, you got that show, Avatar The Last Airbender. Now I've been told it's, you know, it's, it's got some, you know, some good points in there. Um, so yeah, I was watching it and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good flick, you know, it's more, you know, um, more for like a, a, you know, it was on Nickelodeon, so it's more like a children's show. Um, but, you know, I was watching it, you know, no good points in there. But in there as well, there was these uh, uh, wicked tropes, these wicked, um, uh, 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 you know, philosophies that Esau was basically pushing out there. Um, you know, and it's, you know, made me think again on this point that Esau gets the kids young, he gets them young. Right. So I'm watching, I'm watching it and then you're there pushing the, you know, this whole idea of like a dumb, uh, you know, a dumb child, so a dumb male and this really smart woman, right, um, pushing, the, even, even had adultery in there, <laughs> like, I was like, what, you know, they even had adultery in there, man, you know, um, in, in a children's show, and, you know, it just goes to show you that, um, hey, that this man, this man is the devil, and he won't stop at nothing, so this is Proverbs 22 and 6, to train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it, now we have understanding that Esau knows the, you know the, the the scriptures you have understand that he performs a diligent search right and you know we know he will know this to be true right now this is talking about it in a righteous sense you know if you have a child you know you you, you put them on the right path right from young and then when they grow up you know they will continue in that path right so what Esau has done now he's he's come along he said hmm I see what that is. So then that's why he'll be pushing the, that's why he's so keen and intent on pushing, um, you know, alphabet doctrine on, you know, children at a young age, brother. Also, when we're speaking about it at the camp, he was basically mentioning how, um, you know, he had his, uh, uh, you know, his toddlers watching something on, on the net, not on the net, watching something on TV, like a, a, a toddler type show. And then, you know, one of the characters, the child character in the, sh in the show, in the cartoon, was basically taken home by two dads, right? And he was, he said he was pissed, which I, you you would be, you understand why, right? You know, but this is another example of why Esau has to be destroyed, right? You know, uh, aiming and getting the children from young. And that's why, you know, we are in the, you know, predicament that we're in today. That's why people behave the way they do today, because they have been indoctrinated from a very young age. I remember years ago, Apostle Gabar basically made statement. That um you know I believe it's possible Apostle Ram Love um basically they made a statement that uh, uh, uh you know these 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 young women from like the age of four they've been told what they've been told that they're princesses right and they've carried that on through their whole life right you know especially these uh you know these especially these Western women okay so what does that do that basically helps um you know lead us into the situation now where this is um this is Jeremiah thirty one. And 22, right, which says, how long will that go by all thy backsliding daughter for you? How has created a new thing in the earth? A woman shall come past a man, right? Now, once again, in all of these different shows and whatever, right, he's basically pushing this idea on these young women that they're this and they're that. And then, you know, you, you know, a man's got to be this and a man's got to be that. He's got to do this. He's got to do that. Pushing that from young. That helps push this agenda, you know, and it cements this agenda in the mind from a very young age, right? You know, I, I've got to be treated like this. You got to do this. You got to do that. Which, you know, as a man, we do have certain duties, right? We, you know, uh, the scriptures talk about, you know, the duty of marriage, um, which obviously means popping them, you know, but for her food, her raiment, right? You know, those are things that, as 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 a man, you know, you're supposed to provide. Well, you know, according, you know, to, to the scriptures, right? which is why, for instance, if you have, um, because a man is allowed to have many wives, but, you know, you, you would limit that to how many you can afford, <laughs> okay, you know, according to the scriptures, you can have many wives, right, but, you know, the point that I'm getting at here is it's, it, you know, the, the, their demands are the demands of the Western world that Esau has put on these people, right, and he gets them, as we read, from young, Right, and when they grow up, they don't depart from those ways, right? Zabukut two fifteen one to them, right? That giveth his neighbor drink, right? So war represents destruction, right? So destruction unto him that giveth his neighbor drink. Now, what is drink, right?
This is Isaiah um, 29 and 9. Stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Right. Now, this is basically referring to philosophies, right? Same thing that we read there when we see uh, 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 giveth his neighbour drink. Right? It's referring to philosophies. And when these people out here, you speak to them, you realise actually they are drunk. Because a drunk man in his, in his drunken stupor thinks he's making sense, right? He thinks he's making sense. He's like, you know, blah, 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 blabbering and this, that and the other. And you might play back a clip of that person when they're drunk. And then guess what they do? Right, you know they'll, you know they they'll hide their face in embarrassment and in shame, uh, which is you know ultimately what you know our, our people are going to be doing. The wicked of our people that get destroyed are going to be doing in the kingdom, right? Your brother had that dream of like how um uh, in the kingdom basically because scriptures in Daniel's twelve. In fact, let me get it. Lest I butcher it, I was trying not to stray too off point. <laughs> uh. No, 12 and 2, Daniel's 12 and 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to ever to shame and everlasting contempt, right? And this is uh, basically going, you know, in, in, in the kingdom, right, when all is said and done, Esau's uh, uh, been, his kingdom has been destroyed, right? When the kingdom now, right, you know, you're going to have, have the elect, right? And then they're going to, you're going to also have, you know, the, 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 the wicked of our people that died coming back, right? And, those individuals are going to come back, you know, feeling down, feeling shame. And the brother, the brother's dream basically was along the lines of, um, you know, those people that came back feeling, you know, uh, a shame or whatever, what have you. They, uh, uh, they were watching what they did back, right? So using that same example of being drunk and recording a drunk man, and then you're seeing them and they're like, you know, they, they're, they're talking gibberish, they're doing dumb stuff, they're acting wild. Right, and then you play it back to them, and they're shamed, and that's what that our people is going to be because right now they aren't physically drunk, but they're spiritually drunk, right, off of these philosophies that Esau gives them, right. Whether it is the, um, you know, the, you know, the, the feminism, whether it is the, you know, a man's just got to be, you know, a dumb blunk, right. All of these different things, okay. So I'll read that again, Isaiah 29 and 9, stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink, right? So finish off Habakkuk 2.15, it says, Woe well unto him that giveth his neighbour drink, that puts thy bottle to him, and makest him drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness, right? Now just grab one more. Right, because you know this is going, um, you know all of this in Esau's media, right? So because it doesn't stop when you're, well, you know, when you when you you know leave childhood, right? Esau is constantly pushing agendas on people, right? He's pushing agendas on Jake, which is why you know you get that movie Inception. Remember, Bob was breaking it down. You know, it, it, it's given from the point of like a sci-fi kind of or kind of point, right? However. Right, it, what it, what is basically being spoken of is true, right? Because what's really going on in that movie Inception is going into the fact that you know Esau puts all of these different ideas into people's heads, and then they think that they're the ones that came up with it. So you have Jake. That's why, and then if you notice, that's why everyone will have a mantra, right? So you think about before you know, uh, uh, L, you know, the whole alphabet thing was really mainstream. What was the mantra that was given to people? Oh, you know, I'm okay with it as long as it's not as as long as it doesn't affect me, right? And then now they've passed that stage. It's oh, you know, you know, choose love or you know, uh, you love this or love that, whatever, what have you, right? Why? Because it's all witchcrafts, right? And then what does Esau do at the end of it? He says, "Look, hey, yeah, hey, Lord, yeah, how, right? Look, 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 look at what your people are doing." But he's the one that giveth the bottle to Jake, right? This is Revelation 12 and 10, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength, right, and the kingdom of our God and the power of his anointed, of his Mashiach, right, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night, right. So from a young age, right, Esau's putting this in play, right. Once again, he's putting certain imagery 
in say um you know in in in, in our children's head right so an image you you know of, of this whole alphabet thing your children go to school and then you know you don't know what's happening in school right and then when they grow up they become little assholes right and oh that's another thing the disrespect right because the scriptures say um you know honor thy father and thy mother right whereas in in you know but, but once again one of the arcane pointed out that in a lot of these shows right whether it's your you know shows aimed for children or even shows where you just got like a family if you notice the children are always little brats <laughs> Right, they're always little brats, and what is that fostering? That's fostering rebellion, right? I was even watching Arrow, um, you know, the DC character, um, uh, you know, there was, there was a TV show, Arrow, right? And then in one episode, the father's actually apologizing to the son, but it was the son that was being a little dick, right? But these times, what does the scripture say, right? If you've got, for instance, if you've got a slothful son, he's supposed to be uh, put to death, man. Right, you know, um, but yeah, like I said, it was it was just something that I was, you know, uh, meditating on, um, you know, something that I observed, and you know, once again, just another reason why we we got to get out of here, right? Which you know, the laws are gonna gonna do a quick show, on you know, on another, on another reason, right? Um, but you know, just to you know, keep everything like segmented, um, you know, I'll close this one up, and yeah, to the next time I say shalom.